Tell us about sex. About sex. What about sex? Sex. <laughs> 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 Public health is always about education. It's that community education out there of how to keep yourself safe, how is this disease transmitted, and you know what can we do to help one another with that transmission rate and have it go down. When we're sending folks to college, when one in six women and girls are sexually assaulted in college, and that number is even higher in the military, it is vital that everybody knows where those lines are that we're able to have those conversations and that we're able to find resources in the community should something happen. Well, I think some of the causes is generally education. We're not talking about HIV transmission with folks. We're not explaining how to keep each other safe. Oftentimes, you know, there are barriers to having access to resources. The fact that we can prevent HIV, we know how to do it. There's we have a lot of tools today. Um, it breaks my heart that we're not doing more. My whole life, I've never gone to a public school. I've only gone to charter and private schools. I guess my parents always kind of kept me educated about what sex was from, um, I guess, early elementary grades. It's not like my parents were just one day like, hey, Connor, this is how babies made. I think I didn't really take it seriously class I felt like it was just like another project to get done. I don't know it just seemed like something that would like get it over with like just another tiny little unit. I don't remember my health class having any topics about any of the things that I needed to learn about as a teenager. Going into like actual like relationships I think it made me more like nervous because I didn't know about things and I didn't know how things worked and what was going to happen and like I didn't see like warning signs for things. Um, not only ask me. Yes, they would like read books to me and kind of answer any questions that I had. I don't know, I guess that's kind of hard because like I don't know what I don't know. I know I, I Google everything and I have questions so and I know what I have. Thousands of times. So. I, I kind of just, I hope it's right. Myself as a parent now, um, I, can, I can understand where folks are like, oh my goodness, you're teaching kids how to have sex. And that's not it at all. In Arizona in particular, I think that there's a change in our understanding about how schools play into sex education and what sex education really encompasses. It doesn't just encompass talking about the act of sex. If you like watch movies where sex education is present, you kind of get kind of a satirical look at it where it's like, all right guys, if you're gonna have sex, take all these condoms I have right here. And like, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it just kind of makes fun of how people like might say like, okay guys, don't have sex. But if you do, like that kind of thing, like when it when sex does happen and like they feel like everybody around them doesn't accept that part of their life, they kind of like keep it hidden and it's always like something that's kind of like weighing them down. There's not, there, there are always like guys like you know like doing like that kind of locker room talk and stuff like that, and I just like never really felt comfortable around that. But I know a lot of my like extended family, I would never <coughs> talk to them about it and I would never bring it up, and I think that's the case in a lot of minority families. In, in Arizona, there's no law that requires sex education to be taught in any school. In actual, actuality, there's a state law that says you cannot promote homosexuality when discussing HIV prevention education. I would say if you want to talk about safe sex, 
well, how about you just talk about abstinence more? I think that's the safest kind of sex there is. And then you don't need to talk about these other things because, my gosh, it seems like that is, that is off in a long, distant past that we talk about that. And instead, it seems like we're teaching our second, third, and fourth graders how to put condoms on cucumbers instead of how to actually teach abstinence like we used to in the good old days. Because I don't think that, that school teachers on their own should be interjecting their moral values on children and I don't think we should override the requirement for medically accurate education and allow them to lie to students and say that there is absolutely safe methods of, of this sex. I do not want any door open whatsoever that would allow potentially a kindergarten and five-year-olds to learn that homosexuality activity is a good thing and, uh, and promoting that or any other sexual lifestyle. And I think it's wrong and I say no to the amendment. There's policies that inhibit yeah. education and knowledge, and that's always a, not a positive thing. I think Arizona, in particular, has a very political yeah. climate. We focus more on political topics rather than what science tells us and the results of sex education in the past. I think a lot of like, Arizona politicians and constituents throughout Arizona don't want to like sex to be normalized. They want it to be like probably a scary thing. It would be just a weekly class. It would have a specific teacher who worked in a hospital and she was very knowledgeable about what she was teaching. You can't just be like, well, sperm is housed here and the egg is over here and they get together in a wonderful meadow and you know, no, this is actually, we need, uh, you know, that, that conversation. When you're able to have a conversation with somebody, I think that helps a lot. And when you have sex education at an early age and uh, talking about sex isn't something that's taboo, I guess. It really helps later in life because you're not afraid to talk about those things and communication is really key. I think we need an understanding of how the bodies function and the role that sex will play in their life. Um, I think it's important that it's discussed in terms of When you get Kind of that institutional kind of sex education it's really helpful and that paired with also a familial kind of sex education kind of like goes, works really well together it's like anything else we do in life is our choices we have to accept responsibility for whatever we do has a consequence good or bad there are consequences not only just physical and biological but emotional psychologically, definitely when you're 12 and 13, you're not thinking of those consequences. I just, put a, I just wish we would have had more about like same-sex relationships. And I know that's not really a thing like in Arizona, but I feel like a lot of people should be informed about that because I feel like a lot of people just don't know much about it. Have resources available, available for folks without judgment. How do you find a trusted adult that you can go to and say, I'm having trouble, or this is what happened to me. We want to keep folks safe. We want to, you know, folks need to know how, you know, to keep themselves in a healthy space and what they can do to help their friends as well. So I think that there's there's a shift in understanding of what things we need to actually educate on and what topics we need to make available to to ages. And so I think too, there's a broader understanding of of how sex education can evolve throughout um, the school system. Since we don't have a statewide law, um, several school districts have made their own policies that say, you know, we, we understand and acknowledge that there's challenges that folks have and we want to make sure that they have all the information that they need going forward. School districts and schools and teachers want their kids to be successful. They want them to graduate. They want them to go out into the world and be amazing. I think it's so great that like people at bioscience and people all around our generation, but like especially at bioscience, can be totally open about their sexuality or like orientation or whatever. The teachers I think are also really like a lot more open-minded. So recently in Arizona there was a bill that was passed to train teachers and students about child abuse and sexual abuse.